The president prepares to address the nation tonight, an East Tennessee family making their way to Washington, D.C. As we've been telling you, Knoxville Fire Captain D.J. Corcoran and his wife Wendy joining lawmakers as special guests at tonight's State of the Union. You'll recall just about a month ago, the Corcorans saying goodbye to their son, 22 year old. Pierce. He was killed in a wreck on Chapman Highway. Prosecutors say the driver, Franco Francisco Eduardo, was here illegally. This story making headlines with the national immigration debate, with the Corcorans now pushing for heightened border security. Live coverage right now from D.C. That's where we sent WATE 6 on your side reporter Blake Stevens. And Blake, do you know what the Corcorans are hoping to hear from the president tonight? Yeah, put simply, they want to hear that a wall is coming to the southern border of the United States. They tell me, yes, they are honored to be able to be in the Capitol here behind me tonight to hear the President's State of the Union in person. Uh, they tell me that's not all they're doing while they're in D.C. They are sharing the story of their 22-year-old son, Pierce Corcoran, and his tragic death. They're sharing that story with any outlet uh, who will listen, even different agencies within Immigration and Customs Enforcement, just to see change. Uh, happen. The Corcorans, of course, arriving in the nation's capital a second time, but for the same reason. Their son Pierce losing his life in a crash on Chapman Highway just more than a month ago. We learned in court the driver, Franco Francisco Eduardo, was in the country illegally and has been for more than 14 years. The two telling their son's story, hoping to prevent future tragedies like theirs. That every time that we talk about Pierce and tell the story, that somebody hears this, maybe somebody on the opposing side, and they soften just a little bit, and they see us as, as neighbors, fellow citizens of the United States, and they say, you know, that could have been us. That could have been our child. And they look at it and see it in that sense, and don't look at us as an opposing, uh, you know, Republican or, or uh, you know, somebody that opposes their, their thoughts. If you're wondering how the Corcorans managed to get a seat inside for the State of the Union tonight, here's how. Senator Marsha Blackburn inviting Captain Corcoran to be her guest tonight, and uh, Congressman Burchett inviting DJ's wife, Wendy. So that's how they got to be here tonight. Coming up a little later, we talked to lawmakers about why they made the Corcorans a priority on their guest list for tonight's historic event. Reporting live from the Capitol, Blake Stevens, WATE 6 on your side. All right, Blake, thank you. Now, the